we have gathered here today to deploy the automated police information system connected at the West Africa regional level as a tool to help security agencies within the ECOWAS sub-region to effectively fight transnational organized crimes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ghana police has adopted a technology-driven strategy of policing to address the challenges of law enforcement in the 21st, 21st century. Thus, we warmly embrace the West Africa Police Information System, WAPIS, for short, and together with other stakeholder institutions, we actively participated in all the activities leading to the establishment of this center. At this juncture, I would like to acknowledge the roles played by the Ghana Immigration Service and the Narcotic Control Board, which all have coordinated in the immigration of the WAPIS Data Center today. In all, some 20 officers from uh, these agencies, including the Ghana Police Service, have undergone various training programs on the WAPIS program to facilitate information sharing. We have eight of these officers coming from the Ghana Police Service, six from the Ghana Immigration Service, and six officers coming from the uh, Narcotic Control Board. I am aware that some of us here are quite familiar with the Interpol I-24-7 Secure Global Police Network, which enables investigators to assess Interpol's range of criminal data bases. I must state here that this facility has been of tremendous assistance to the Ghana Police Service. And I believe I can also talk on behalf of the Ghana Immigration Service and the Council's Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority in tracking suspects involved in transnational crimes such as drug trafficking, human trafficking, sheep stolen goods, and others. The WAPI system, which is a replica of the I-24-7 I am informed, has a more focused coverage. It is expected to provide additional depth since the management of this database will be the direct responsibility of the Ghana Police Service, Immigration Service, and the Narcotic Control Board. Thus, we have no doubt that a fully implemented WAPIS would allow greater responsiveness to crime within the sub-region and beyond. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to join me to express gratitude to the European Union, to the ECOWAS Secretariat, and WAPCO, that is the West African Police Chiefs Committee, for their immense support and contribution in making the WAPIS project operational here today. On that note, let me thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.